Hello and welcome from Team Fortinet. My name is Michael Weir. I'm the NSC7 Certified Technical Account Manager for Fortinet here at Ingram Micro. Here to talk to you today about part two of our story of Lonely Fortigate, in this case known as the threat. But before we get too much further into it, we need to ask ourselves, what is a threat? Now this is a list of threats that I made. It's by no means encyclical or complete. This is just a few of the things out in today's environment. We have things like ransomware, malware, spyware, adware, spam, miners, wipers, just things that are minor annoyances. And these aren't mutually exclusive categories. For example, spam is frequently used as a way to deliver other things. There are unwanted messages, phishing, all that used to deliver things like ransomware. Sometimes ransomware can also exfiltrate data or function as a wiper to your system. So there's a lot of overlap between the different things going on. So we have to ask ourselves second, looking at these things, what is the threat actor's goal? Because that will help tell us what they might use. I divided this into four things, and once again, this is by no means encyclical or by no means exclusive. These can overlap, but we have threat actors who are going to be in it for profit, those who are going to do it for data theft, those who are going to do it for sabotage, and those who are just going to do it for chaos, meaning they don't necessarily have a goal. They're just propagating malware, or sending sweeps of everything they can. And of course, once again, these aren't necessarily mutually exclusive. For example, somebody that is doing, prof doing something for profit, like ransomware, could also do data theft for more profit at the same time. So then third, we have to say, how can we stop these threats? This is just a little list of technologies you can use to stop threats in your network. Obviously, there's more than this. But these are a few of the things I thought of. The number one thing you can do to protect your network and is to improve your user behavior. There's actually a technology for monitoring that called UEBA, things like Forda Insight, for example. Uh, there's intrusion prevention systems, which almost everybody has on their firewalls these days. I would just look at industry publications to see who's the best. Um, antivirus, including sandboxing, which is taking a suspicious file, putting it in a fake machine, a fake laptop, fake desktop, what have you, uh, that's virtual, and detonating it to see if it is malicious or not. Uh, antivirus, as we just said, anti-spam, web and DNS filtering, including filtering out things like botnets or known malicious domains, that sort of thing, application control, and also testing and improvement, testing your environment, seeing what can get in, what can't, and then if you find any holes, improving. Now, this is where we get back to our story. I want us to focus today on antivirus, including sandboxing. So in a home office, not too far away from here. Ooh-wee, it's been a hard time patrolling this office for known threats. I'm thinking now maybe it's time to look for some unknown ones. Hey, wait a second. I think there's some behind the TV. I better go see what it is. Hello, is anybody back there? Hello? I, I, it's me. My name is Treat. It's Italian. Wait, I don't believe you. I'm not letting you by. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. I don't trust you. I'm going to throw you into my sandbox to make sure. I swear I'm not malicious. No, no, no. Oh. Thank you for watching. Have any questions? Feel free to contact me or my compatriot Garrett at the emails you see on the screen or my work extension. Other than that, have yourself a good day.